Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. I gently open the door. Oh! <laughs> Okay, few announcements. First, new hat. Who this? Bon -quee -quee. Second announcement. I want to keep myself accountable and I need your help. I've quit the jewel. This device right here. I am on day three of no nicotine, of no smoking on the vape, and I want to quit it forever. So, anyway, let's go ahead and start Doki Doki. I believe that we're almost done with it. Hello, gorgeous. Let's go open it up. Oh, and before we start this video, add me on TikTok. I'm really new to it. At Marky F Baby. At Marky F. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. I probably said it wrong. I think it's at Marky F Baby MFB. Yeah. I'll wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. And also, while you're at it, open your Twitter and also add me at Marky F Baby MFB. I'll wait, I'll wait, you know, I'll wait. I'll give you, I'll give you some time, I'll wait. You gotta open it up. You gotta type in my name. Yeah, I think you're almost set. Click it, yep, and press the follow button. Yeah, you did it, great. TikTok and Twitter, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead, Thursday, August 29th. Yep, let's do it. Already on the sad stuff. Oh, my voice is again. Sayori. <laughs> Should we say I love you? You'll always be my dearest friend. I love you. Oh, no. <laughs> I love you. Huh? <laughs> Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with the club, with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, I think we've, we, we messed up really bad saying I love you. I, I don't think we really love her. We messed up. It helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. According to the last episodes, Yuri, baby, baby, baby girl Yuri, is our love. I'm, a, I'm about to put back the hentai, like, screw this. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Maybe I'm just a pimp. Then I know we'll both... <laughs> then I know we'll both be happy. Marky F, baby. Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Why is she crying so much? What's what's going on? This is... The music is so sad, too. Marky F, baby. Is this... Really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. Look at my fresh cut, though. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Marky F, baby. How old are we, yo? What the hell? I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not away. They're not going away at all, Marky F, baby. It's okay, Sayori. It's gonna take some time, baby girl. It's gonna take some time, you know. So, Mar Marky F, baby's for everyone, but you know, you gotta, you gotta slow it down. We gotta slow it down. Slow it down. It might take some time for things to get better. See, 
See? You gotta slow it down. Who would have thought I'll be caught in the light? Let's celebrate with a toast. I don't know why I had Drake vibes right there, but this whole song, this whole this whole music thing, this slow slow music thing is getting my Drake vibes out. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. It's all that matters right now. Oh, okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. Ooh, we is with Sayori. Okay, I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. See, what happened in this situation was we got guilt tripped into a relationship. And now, and now she's putting the blame on us like she's the victim. I don't get it. I don't get what's going on here. I don't get it. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Marky F, baby. Sayori, Sayori gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I really, even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? See, guilt trip. What's, what's going on? Anime. I, I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me, but that's why I want to trust you. Girl, get your ass out of here. For real though. Screw this, we going for Yuri. You know what's best for me? You know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I'm never... I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her, and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know, I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me. Get out of here. Yuri is. And I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. Oh crap. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri, Yuri and I painted is dry and I gently rolled it up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily, is that a word? Funnily though, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. Sayori and Yuri, playboy. My man's a playboy. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Marky F, baby! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. There's no music. That's creeping me out. 
They must be the ones she's pre They must be the ones she- What? They must be the ones she prepared that all- What? They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems were performing. I don't know why that took forever to read. I need to go back to a reading class. Language arts was not my strong point. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She overslept again. That dummy. You think that on the- You think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly as that- nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But... Maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Ahahaha. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Markia, baby. I mean, especially after your exchanging with her yesterday. What did we do yesterday? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Yeah, what exchange, Monica? You evil delinquent. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. Monica knows too much, yo. You're, you're big sister at this point. You're evil. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid down on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like that will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she's practiced. It's the, it's one that I've it's one that I haven't read before. Oh my gosh! Percent? Get out of my head! 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 One eternity later. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Wow, okay, there's a lot to take in from this besides for besides for get out, of my, get out of my head. Get out of my head. So it says, get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. So Monica said something to Sayori. Something probably, probably really bad. And get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. That insinuates suicide. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. So the poem could be like, her life and then or or the poem is her lifeline and when she's done finishing the poem she dies maybe oh what is this reading the poem i get a pit in my stomach marky f baby what's wrong oh nothing this poem feels completely different from everything else sayori's written but more than that i i i changed my mind I'm going to, I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah, uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Yo, Sayori... Uh, I don't know. You think she's dead? I think she's dead. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out... Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to do at least wait. 
It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Oh my god. And it's freaking like there's no sound. Sayori? She really isn't it. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend should do, do isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh! Well, this is fucked up, yo. An expectation, an exception has occurred. File game script dot chp uh, ch something. See traceback text for details. All right, it's really freaky, and I got lots of chills down my spine. What the hell is right? What the hell is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. They got the choir going on this too, yo. This is freaking freaky, yo. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few m days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I, supp I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best, and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do- why would she do this? Seriously. What the ha- how- where are the parents in this situation? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Oh my gosh, I forgot to save! Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do, nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now carry this guilt with me until I die. I'm sure I could do something. There, it said something about deleting a file, so I'm gonna go check the files. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. But well, you know one thing. We got Yuri. One down, two more to go. So me and Yuri could be together. Forever. I can never take it back. Never. 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 End. Oh, this is the end. Alright, what? What happened?
What's going on? What the hell is this? Uh, before we we start, let's go look at the, the game files. Um, hold on. All right. Happy thoughts. Check this out. Happy thoughts. <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool. Okay. All right. Um, game. Oh, probably in characters. <laughs> okay, so definitely. Um. Uh, what's her name again? See, I've already forgot her name. Sayori has been deleted. Look at this. How come Monica has such a bigger size than Natsuki and Yuri? Well, we know Yuri got bigger size. Stop. Stop. Um, let's see what else we could find. Oh, here, look. Restart top context. Oh, geez. I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I can probably fix this, I think. Actually, you know what? This probably would be a lot... This would probably be a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Ah ha ha ha! Well, here goes nothing. Yo! Yo! Monica deleted Sayori, yo! Oh, it's right here too. Oh, I didn't break anything. Look, look. Uh, Renp Commons start. Oh, this is probably what we saw in the beginning, right? Or when, when we saw that it ended. Yo, she deleted her, yo. Oh, geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec. I can probably fix this, I think. All right, that was cool. Okay. All right, I guess, I guess we have to continue through. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yo, the music is all messed up, too. Okay, let's try to read this. LNT. Uh, nope, I can't. It says three-fourths right here. Negative three-fourths. It's negative three over four. What the hell is this? Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go save game real quick. What, I have no more saves? Did all my saves delete? Alright. Oh, uh, let's go. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw herself to. Draw to herself. That girl is... What? <laughs> My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, that kind of friend you never see yourself making... What? You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking her- tired of waiting up. But she's going to chase after me like this. I almost feel better off running away. However, I just idle in front of the crosswalk and let... catch up to me. Sayori. It's supposed to be Sayori. Everyone knows this. Okay, I'm getting really freaked out now. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friends, friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly, perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always this, the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. I don't know if I can continue this, man. This is, that, these, these are getting really jump scary now. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking for an, for an ounce of motivation... Clubs? There really aren't any that interest me. 
Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. How should this voice be? Marky a baby, Marky a baby. Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Oh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile... Oh... This is recording, right? Okay. I'm gonna cut that out. Maybe. Or keep it raw. Like what I'm gonna do to Yuri. Just kidding. Stop. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah, uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that, in that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Hello! Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, ahaha. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are, are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that really, that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even call, even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I'm just noticing Monica's hands, yo. I thought those were nails. Maybe she looked evil now. Maybe she got evil. I don't know. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Huh. Hey, Marquia, baby. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? I'm not gonna join your club. Hell no. Oh, I mean, I guess so, but... Y'all crazy. In that case... In that, in that case, is there any chance you could be do... Could do me a hu... Uh, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I wouldn't ask you to join, but... If you could at least... If you could at least... At, uh, uh, I can't read. If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Um, well, well, uh, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, oh, awesome. You're really sweet, Markia, baby. You know what? You know that? It, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. We sold our soul for a cupcake last time, so... Dame. Dame. I timidly, I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third year classes and, and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. OH! FUCK! Hey, fuck. Yo, I'm keeping these episodes to 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna end it here. Uh, things are getting really creepy right now. I've, I've been jump scared a total of three times now, I think. Uh, let's see if we can say before I say we're gonna end it. What the hell? Where are my save games going? Yo.
Yes. Right? I could save, right? So we definitely can save, and we saved a we saved a ton. We filled up two pages of saves. And uh, let's find out what happens on the next time, because things are getting really freaky, things are getting really out of hand, Monica corrupted the game, Sayori's gone, and we haven't seen Yuri or Natsuki. I think we're gonna be introduced to them uh, shortly. If you haven't checked out the full Doki Doki playlist, go check it out now. It's in the description below. And uh, go check out the other scary games I played. I played many scary games. Playlist is down there below as well, and I play Apex. Got lots of Apex game. A A Apex gameplay. Anyway, Marky at Baby out. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Chill the f out, guys.